Here we're going to add in our columns on our grid lines. We can do this uh, in a couple ways. We can do it by selecting all the grids or doing them, them one at a time. Um, I'm just looking at my families here and you know what, um, after loading those families, I did not bring in, I saw an HSS, but it was a framing, more of a beam HSS, hollow structural section. So I'm going to load one in. So I'm going to say insert load family and I'm going to go to my metric and then go to structural columns, not architectural columns and steel and H hollow structural section, hit OK. Notice when you use the Revit load tool, it actually brings up the library of individual um, HSS sections. So I want, you know, a 203 by 203 by uh, maybe heavier one. OK, so eight inch square um, column. So now I want to place some columns. I've got my level line set up and we can start off. So we go structural and I can say column. It's going to list my columns that I have available inside of here. Okay. I want to make sure this says vertical, not slanted, because that can be a problem. And now what I can do is I can say, okay, that's the last one loaded. Okay. Do I want to go up or down from the level? Well, it's very important that I notice, oh boy, I'm on level four. Escape, escape, that's not where I want to be. Cancel. Back to level one. Now, you know what? I don't even want to be on level one. I got to go down and check my level names again here. Double click and let's rename these. So I'm going to click on here and call this top of footing. Click out. Do you want to rename the corresponding view? Yes. Click on here and I'll call this, you know top of main, which is the concrete slab and foundation wall. Click on here, top of second steel and top of roof steel perimeter, right? Do I want to rename? Yes. So now I have all that. Ah, that's better. Now let's go to my top of main. Click, click. Now I'm going to place columns going up height-wise. So back to my structure column. I don't want to go depth. I don't want to go down. I want to go up height. Up to where? Up to the top of my second floor. And misspelt, but I'm going to fix that. Top of second. So now I can go around and columns stick to grid lines quite well. So I can go around and go click, click, click one at a time. Or I can zoom out and say at grid lines. And then what I'm going to do is do a crossing box and grab all these grid lines. It's going to find the intersections. Okay, and you can see it's about to put a column on there. And I say finish. And then I have some columns on there. If I go to a 3D view, I'm just going to see my column sitting there. Back to my main floor, I can continue placing columns. I can hit escape. Now I'm going to go up to the top of my second floor and say, OK, let's uh, draw some beams. So I'm going to say, OK, I'm going to draw a beam. What beam am I going to use? Well, it's not going to be a steel angle, that's for sure. And I want to bring in a wide flange. What do I have? C channel, HSS, I've got a brace. Why do I not have a wide flange? Wide flange? Beam, let's see, structural framing, foundation framing, what do I have? I've got concrete stuff in there, I don't have any steel uh, wide flanges, so I got to go get one. Uh, insert, load family, back to my metric. Uh, back to my structural framing, steel, and I want a wide flange. I thought I could have sworn I've got one of those. Just a standard wide flange. There it is right there. Boom, hit OK. And I want to bring in a couple of different sizes, maybe. 460 by... Uh, 
89 and maybe W410 by 6 and W360 by 79. Okay, so three different sizes of uh, steel beams, which are now down inside of here. So back to my structure, back to my beam. And I note that I am on the second floor. It's going to snap to there. And I'm going to pick my section off of here. Wide flange, 460 by 89. Sure. Now, again, I can go click, 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 and click them all. Or I can say at grid lines. Do a big crossing box like this. It's going to place those in there. Hit finish. Click out. Escape, escape. Now, I happen to be in course detail. If I change this to say fine detail, I'll see a little more. I'll see double line. And if I go to a 3D view, I'll see there is my structure so far. And you can see the analytical model is turned on. If I click on here, I can turn that analytical model off and it'll get rid of that. And I can also change this to say hidden line. Okay. Shift middle mouse. Not too bad. So we should save this. Um, and so now we have at top of main, we have our columns and at the top of the second floor, let's rename that. And when I do, it's going to ask me to rename the level. I'm going to say yes. And now my level will also be renamed. So let's save it out and come back and keep building our structural model.